Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. There it is. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts if you rock with me. Got my six, you can have my back because I have yours. All right, we're going to pull from this deck to see what your love life is like. Love like. Love life is like. To see what you got going on. Card comes out unsure, telepathic. Yeah. At some point, you're not connecting yet to the person who normally you would be telepathically connecting to. It says close souls connections harmony, harmoniously synchronize, creating moments of telepathy. So this is one-sided energies. There's the heart here. You begin to feel your heart beat faster when you are closer. So, yeah, yeah, obstacles. There's obstacles. Deeply, it says, look deeply within uh, to discover your soul's purpose in your relationship. The obstacles and you having to actually let go of the energy, uh, especially when it comes to matters of the heart, is why things look a little different for you. Your feelings are changing. Um, you are losing touch or losing connection or not really worried about this connection anymore. And so with that being said, you're on a different, you're, you've turned a new leaf when it comes to what, the matters of the hearts are it's about you completing your journey and you know going on a spiritual journey whether it be physical mental or spiritual you have to look at things in a different direction and yeah knight of swords unstoppable force you have to become an unstoppable force in order to kind of get out of the matters of the heart energy uh when it comes to yeah seven of swords hidden deceit yeah for the longest you have been feeling like there's been a lot of deceit in this energy and you're just tired of it. Seven of Swords energy also when it comes to, yep, your energy, the chariot, when it comes to movement, there's been no movement in this situation. And therefore, no matter how deep you feel, there is always going to be a certain type of obstacle or a certain type of hesitation when it comes to Ace of Coins, New Abundance, any type of situation that you have moving forward, things are going to look differently to you. Your feelings are going to um, you know, you're letting this thing control you, and that's fine. It's conflict there, and there is also new excitement, but at the same time, there's conflict because frictional conflict. There has never been anything resolved when it comes to the seeds you planted in this situation, you know, the matters of the heart, you know, feeling deeply about a person, you know, connecting with them mentally, physically, and spiritually, emotionally as well when it comes to your feelings and knowing that there's always going to be some type of obstacle there. So the spiritual journey that you're going on, I'm going to go ahead and pull from the spiritual oracle, uh, spiritual journey oracle to see the spiritual journey that you're going on. You have to connect. Yeah, look at all this energy that comes out, seeker. Yeah, you have to look at things in a different light. And so the cards that come out, yeah, practicing positivity, mental clutter. See, the telepathic energy, you had to let go of that energy because it was causing you uh, to be to have clutter and not to be able to move forward. It was causing the matters of the heart and you to feel deeply in regards to not being able to be positive. So you had to move forward and seek different things. Yeah, heart opening and um, also channeling. Yeah, so this is your intuition and your heart, but you had to channel deeper emotions when it comes to the relationship paradigm. I'm not sure if you've seen at the bottom of the card deck. I kind of glanced at it when before I started shuffling that the relationship paradigm was at the bottom of the deck, but now you're seeking different things, yearning for knowledge, and it says yearning for knowledge, you are a student of life with a strong curiosity for deeper meaning, and so that is where you had to look at things in a different way and in a different light and see things for what is going to benefit you and not just, you know, when it comes to you constantly benefiting everyone else and not just yourself and not being able to move forward. This is the Cozy Witch uh, Tarot deck. Let's see, because we already pulled Tarot, but this is you, you know, to me, I'm going to say Cozy, meaning that, you know, kind of taking it easy when it comes to certain things, but, but moving forward when it comes to what it is that you're doing or what you need to do. The card that comes out is, yeah, strength. Recognizing your strength. It says it takes great strength to be soft. And so that's the thing, you know, you were soft when it came to the matters of the heart, lover's energy. It says you will, you will or won't, you will or won't you. The choice is yours. When it comes to matters of the heart, 
being soft, opening it up. And that's where the heart opening and the heart is here and feeling deeply. But at some point with the obstacles and you, you know, spiritually loving this person and in the 5D and sending strength and healing, you have to channel a different energy in order for you to just literally move forward and to really let go of a situation that, you know, doesn't have your best interest. The card that comes out is the high priestess energy. Yeah. Intuition. Like I said, your intuition, mental clutter, you know, those things are blocked, but it says the high priestess, when in doubt, your first gut feeling can always be trusted. And so feelings come out, like I said before, and seeker, the seeker and the ace of cups, remember this showed his face right before um, I, I started um, shuffling again, the seven of coins is here. So you planted the seed already. You There's nothing else that you can do. And the Ace of Cups, you've already planted the seed. Ace of Cups, you know, Seven of Pentacles, seven years you've been dealing with the situation to where you know it hasn't been an open thing. And I say seven because each pentacle is equivalent to a year. Seven, seven of Pentacles is here. But, you know, it says, do you feel that in your heart? That's potential, dear. And so seeing what you are possibly capable of, but putting the potential or putting the energy into the matters of the heart, the things that you love is like, no, I need to put this into myself. And I think that's what I said in the beginning. So you're channeling something different. You're looking at things in a different light and the energy that you've been around, it hasn't meant you well. So therefore you have to work on other things uh, when it comes to your mentality and your mental space. And so that's where the mental clutter is. And so, with that being said, I'm going to pull from the finance deck by Marek X to see what comes out and what you're working on and what message needs to come out. Because, again, channeling a different energy, opening your heart and practicing positivity in a, in a situation to where you know that there's nothing. Hmm. I'm not going to say nothing good because it was a lesson that came out of it. Unsure energy. Yeah. Unstable energy. Yeah. Unsure, unstable energy. Uh, when it came to, do you feel that in your heart, that's potential, your potential growth, potential growth of you channeling something different, you're capable of doing anything, but not in an unstable environment. And so that's where the relationship paradigm comes in at. It says, um, hold on. what speaks to your soul in a close relationship and whatever you've been going through deep down, you know that it was doubt there and the unstable energy didn't speak to your soul but the potential did does that make sense and says will you or won't you the choice is yours they have the same choice as you you have the choice to stick around for seven years or for however long but when it comes to growth there's no growth here so you have to do something different expect the good news and money matters a raise or new job offer it says money will soon start pouring to your business promising opportunities await and then here it says, there has been a lot of ups and downs with your finances. Money comes in fast and is going out just as quickly. Fast changes regarding money or unexpected turn of finances. So that is where you are. Sorry, I got to move my, I got to move my microphone. But that is where you are when it comes to everything that you've been going through. And so that is where the instability, the instability is. And so the unsure energy of the outlook of what the future holds, you know, you can look at things from one perspective or you can look at it from another perspective. But any way it goes, you have to be the one to make the decision on if it's stability or not. And this is based upon relationship paradigms, whether it's a situation, a lover, uh, a job, whatever it is, it's you having to make a decision to move forward. And this is something that's deep down, knowing that it's an obstacle and that You've given all of your energy telepathically. It caused mental clutter, but you have to be positive at the same time in order to move forward. So the outlook is change behavior and develop better money habits. And that is where the growth is going to come in. And it's not always about money. Can you see my toenails under there? And it's not, I'm sorry. And it's not always about money. But the thing is, is that you're like Queen Amon Ra says, the mother of the Zodiac. You're the person Queen of Pentacles energy who can, you know, do who will do anything for a person financially, mentally, spiritually, physically. And also when it comes to the chariot, move forward and be able to be successful in every situation. But when it comes to matters of the heart and mental clutter, 
and also feeling like there's no growth in a situation, yeah, you start to look at things and see what is your life purpose and why is it that you're here and what is this situation uh, causing for you to, what well, what is this situation bringing towards you? Is it opportunity or is it defeat? Is it destruction? What is it? And that's when you start to question and that's when you start to take things personally when you start to feel like your time is being wasted and you're t if somebody's taking your kindness for a weakness, that's when your feelings get involved, when there's no growth involved, and when you feel like, you know, the relationship pair of DMs or the people that you're around are causing mental clutter and uh, un instab instability or you to become unstable mentally, physically, and spiritually. So it says, ask for what you need and things will align for you to carry out your vision. So you're asking the universe, uh, high priestess energy, you know, but it says when in doubt, your first gut feelings can always be trusted. But here's the thing, you don't trust this energy that's around you. So therefore, you have to be the one to make the decisions that, okay, I'm going to move forward with or without you. And that's where it says, will you or won't you? The choice is yours. Everybody has a choice. Free will is a choice. But at the same time, this is, sorry, this is the Spiritual Oracle by um, 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 Cancer Baby Tarot. Uh, but yeah, this is when you turn around and protection is in order. Yes, protection is in order. Mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, and yeah, it will happen within a year. So you'll st everything will start to unfold within a year. You just have to get to a point to where you're, you're feeling stable enough. Uh, but again... You could be, you know, everything, yeah. So, yeah, everything is starting, starting to unfold. Timing is of the essence right now. Timing, timing is of the essence. And um, the protection is just know that you're divinely protected and you'll receive the information that you want. Um, it says, heed what you hear. Read between the lines. Find print. Seek advice from those you trust. Get more information. And this is in regards to your feelings and how you're going to move forward when it comes to the instability. But again, it will happen within a month. Some things will happen within a month, meaning you will be able to make a decision on where you are if you haven't gotten to this point. And it might take a year to get through this. Um, I'm going to say to, to learn, learn from this. I'm going to say that because it will happen when you discover what your life purpose is but this is what is unfolding uh when it comes to this energy if that makes sense so i'm gonna go ahead and i think this is what you need what you needed to know and i think i can go ahead and let this energy go because you know it's time for you to make those decisions and the growth happens when you decide to live for you and that's probably because you've done your best in every situation, if that makes sense. And so I'm pulling from the four agreements. And then if you want to understand my perspective of the four agreements, it will be linked above. And also the crystal deck, which is focusing on the chakras, it'll also be linked above. I'm going to say I got to find it. I moved my cards, some of my cards. So uh, always do your best came out. And then we're going to pull from the crystal deck. The tourmalated quartz comes out and the hidden night. So always do your best. All right. Your best is changing all the time. It says your best will depend on whether you are refreshed in the morning or tired at night. Your best will be different when you are happy as opposed to upset or healthy as opposed to sick. Under any circumstances, simply do your best and you will avoid self-judgment, self-abuse, and regret. So maybe you're realizing this and time will tell where the growth is going to come in at. And this comes with your heart chakra. Send in strength and healing, period. No matter if you're in mental clutter, if you can't really relate to them physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, all you can do is send strength and healing, period. That's it. And hope that they get it together. So... That is the heart chakra. The hidden night is unconditional love, divine connection, and rejuvenation. The affirmation says, I am filled with universal love and share it freely with others. 
This is a heart chakra. And this is why you know that you're protected because, again, you're the mother of the zodiac. You're the person who is always, who always has somebody's best interest. Every relationship paradigm, I always tell you nine times out of ten, ten if I cut you off, you handed me the scissors. So the tourmalated quartz is the root and the crown chakra, amplification, deflection, and balance. It says my masculine and feminine aspects are in tune with each other. Hold on. My masculine and feminine aspects are in tune with each other. And that is what you need to know. And during these unstable times, only time will tell, but just know that you're protected. Let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, Addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.